a seat, Morgan. We're discussing ladies' bloomers. <laughs> Enough to turn a good, honest fella to drink. <laughs> Being a bad, dishonest fella, it's gonna send me to drink twice as fast. I just can't cope, really. <laughs> I can't. Shoes up, people. Shoes up. What are you mumbling about? Why are we fighting the Philippines, huh? I don't know. Why are you so worked up about it? Well, I should get back to it. All right, then. Arthur. Dutch? Miss O'Shea? Well, feels like we are finally getting back on our feet. <laughs> you, uh, find a buyer for them bonds we stole? Not yet, but Jose is working on it. When we heading west? Soon? I don't know. Feels like things have changed. The whole world's changed. But they don't want folk like us no more. We're being hunted. We are smarter than them. Only the feeblest of men take jobs in the government. <laughs> I hope so. Trust Dutch, Mr. Morgan. You have to. They got Micah! Dutch! Arthur, what's going on? They got Micah. He, he's been arrested for murder. He was in Strawberry It's okay, and... son. Breathe. They nearly lynched me. They, they got Micah and the sheriffs in Strawberry. And there's talk of hanging him. Here's open. Arthur, what? The fool brought this on himself. You know my feelings about him, Dutch. You think I can't see past his bluster to the heart inside? He is a fine man. No. I ain't saving that fool. I can't go. My face will be all over West Elizabeth. I am asking. He would do it for you. I don't think he would, but fine, all right. Arthur. You okay, Lenny? Yeah, of course I'm okay. You don't seem okay. You take that kid into town. Valentine, not Strawberry. Get him drunk. And Arthur, no crazy business. I've given that up. And you get Micah out of that jail. Come on, son. I'll get to it, Dutch. Just can't drop everything. All right, boy. I rode as fast as I could. Didn't stop for nothing. Yeah, you look like you've been through it. I'm beat. We finally get off that mountain, then this. Micah's got a crazy side off it. What were you boys doing? You are supposed to be scouting ahead for us. I kept asking him what we was doing, but he was, you worry too much, kid. Just, just some business to attend to, kid. You know how he is. Yes, I do. He was half soaked before we even got there. Then we ran into some fellas. One of them Micah knew, drank some more. And this is supposed to be a dry town we're in, too. Then he shoots one of them. I know how that goes. Couldn't even tell you quite how. Happened like the strike of a match. The law was on us fast, too. They was ready to strangle me up there and then. But I got away, just about. You're all right now. We'll take care of it. So you're gonna go get them? I'll come with you. No, you leave it to me. For now, let's drink some. Forget about Micah. It was drank that started all this. We'll just have a cup, settle you down, and head back, okay? Okay. Now, I should warn you. 
Me and a couple of the other boys, we got in a bit of a fight last time we was here. Here we are. Just one or two, right, Arthur? Of course, just a drink. No big drum. Can we get a couple beers, please? You, I don't want no trouble. And you'll get none from me. I was defending myself. Tommy, he's... He'll be fine. Here, have one for yourself. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Micah seemed to know a lot of people. That was the problem. How you mean? I mean, I done seen a lot of crazy, crazy a stuff, but Mikey... A lot of crazy, crazy stuff. Will you shut up? Will you shut up? Be quiet, buddy. <laughs> oh, there, Dullard! My lord, you men is dull. <laughs> <laughs> and leave this fool alone. Leave the fool alone. People been leaving me alone for the last... Listen, buddy. You're a charming fellow. One of the best. <laughs> but me and the kid here, we're trying to talk business, so could you possibly leave us alone? No offense intended. Ain't no pleasing some folk. Just, just trying to be friendly. <laughs> That's great, partner. Lenny, Lenny, where are you? Lenny! You seen that feller I was with? No idea. Hey, Lenny! Hey, you see my friend anywhere? Wouldn't do. Lenny? your mouth, mister.
I'm Clyde. You got the wrong fella. Hey, where are you hiding now? There you are, Lenny. Lenny, what are you talking about? We're looking all over for you, Lenny. friend of me often. Cheers. Cheers. Not you again. again. Where's that horse got to? Swanson! What's the hold up? Are you down there? Are you?
Hey, mister. Morning, partner. Mr. Morgan, I took your advice, sir. I took your advice. Then your god has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. No more shall I sink, sir. I am free. I am free. You don't seem free, friend. You seem drunk. Sit down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished. Look at him, he's finished. None of us forced liquor down his throat, friend. I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Don't make no mistake on that subject. Now, secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone reason. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither, but seeing I do just fine. You want to step outside or do a business here? I just want him to finish the game. Why can't we all just get along? These are good men, Arthur. They're children of God. They are children of God. How's about you playing his place, huh? That seems fair. Fair? Sure. You want a game? I can't, partners. <laughs> I don't mean to spoil your fun, but I got things to do. You sure? Quite sure. I gotta get him out of here. Come on, Reverend, let's get you home. Where'd he go? I don't know. I was talking to you. <sighs> Gentlemen. Reverend! Reverend Swanson! Where'd you go? Off him. I didn't say a word. You'll keep. You stay out of it. Get your hands off him now, you son of a bitch. You're going down. Come on. Oh my God, you killed him. I'm gonna get the law on you. Please, don't hurt me. You tell anyone what you saw back there? You're a dead man. You understand me? Yep. I I won't tell a soul. I promise. Good. Get the hell out of here. It's the last thing I needed. Reverend! Get off the damn tracks! Simple mistake. You can still be saved. Huh? What have you done with your foot? It appears to like this place. I want to stay. Get your foot out of here. Twist your leg, you drunken bastard. Help! Help me, or we're both dead! Have 
you done with your foot? It appears to like this place. It wants to stay. Get your foot out of here! Twist your leg, you drunken you bastard! Come on! <laughs> Thank you, sir! Uh, uh, oh, no, you don't! What the hell is wrong with you? What the hell is wrong with you? Throwing me off a bridge like there that? There was your goddamn train, you crazy bastard! <sighs> Have I been bad again, Mr. Morgan? I'm sorry. Uh, I wish I was different. <laughs> Let's get you home. Home? Yeah. That's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Margaret. Margaret? Who's Margaret? What? I was wondering when he'd show up. Better sleep your way to salvation, my friend. <laughs> oh, what happened? Just the usual. Poor <laughs> bastard. Exactly. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'll keep an eye on him. He was lucky this time. Real lucky. <laughs> so, we found the O'Driscoll's hideout, but no sign of Combe. Well, so long as we're hitting them before they hit us. Oh, and that kid? He's all right now. Hey, Isaac. Jose, 
You want to go hunting? What are you hunting? An elephant? <laughs> I wish. No, I saw a huge bear. One of the biggest I ever saw. I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. My God. But you need me to come with you. Of course. Let's go. Where are we heading exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh, me too. It's been a rough couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go then. So you still ain't replaced Bodicea? Nah, I miss her. She was quite a horse. This one's okay, but ain't no Bodicea. I've been meaning to offload this big shire horse for a while now. Unruly bastard. Where'd you get him? Some big loudmouth bastard tried to rob me and was out riding, so I... Well, you know how it is. I see. Let's take him to Valentine. It's on the way, sort of. There's a decent dealer there. We'll unload him. You could buy yourself a new horse. Put your saddle on them. Let's get going. Okay. But I do kind of like this horse. There's nothing wrong with two horses. And the state... always have the best ones. Well, I guess you're right. This is gonna be fun, Arthur. You won't throw me? No, he's an angel, if I'm near him. Nasty little look in his eyes. Oh, don't be rude about this magnificent creature. Okay, see if you can get your leg over that brute. Okay, boy. Easy, big fella. All right, let's head into town. And maybe stay out of the saloon this time. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. We're heading out. Might be gone a couple of days. They got a good range of horse tack at the Valentine Stables. Some beautiful saddles. I used to have a real nice one. Yeah, what happened to that? Got stolen outside that saloon in Deer Creek. Ah, oh, I remember now. Just about. <laughs> that turned into a long day. Yes. Remember? Mac went crazy. Threatened to kill the whole town. And Davy was passed out so cold we left him there. Came back in the next day and he woke up and started right back drinking again. <laughs> uh, I'll miss those boys. Jenny, too. She had some spot, that girl. It must be pretty hard on Lenny. You could tell he was sweet on her. Well, Lenny and Jenny could never have worked. That's like Arthur and Martha, or Bill and Phil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right. Does feel a bit like our luck died with them, too. Nonsense. We'll be all right. Just need some money to get back on our feet. I hope so. You found a way to offload those Cornwall bonds yet? Not yet. They're still very hot. Need to be done right. I have a couple of leads I'm looking into. <laughs> Don't let that big bastard get the better of you there, Arthur. Hey, he's all right. How's it going? All right, boy. Good boy. Stables are just up ahead. This sirloin will put a smile on your man's face, guaranteed. All right, go sell that big brute and buy yourself a horse. Okay. I'm going off to the general store. Get a few things to lure that bear out with. <laughs> Meet you back here in a bit. Hey, how can I help you? I'm in the market for a new horse. Something strong and fast. Yeah, well, you're in the right place. I got some beauties in at the moment. <whistles> yeah. And yeah, what about this one here? Yeah, you looking to sell? I show sure, you. Yeah. You got papers? No. No papers. Well, of course, that's going to affect what I can pay. But your luck's in. I got a fella who's been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. He'll pay a good price. Otherwise, I can always stable him here for you. Here, take a look.
right, partner. You got yourself a deal. And a fine new horse. I hope so. Well, I don't sell anything other than good animals. You have my word on that. Here are your papers. And on me, a new grooming brush. And some treats. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah. All right, you. You treat this fella well. I know he's going to look after you just fine. Not bad, Arthur. You happy? Well, I guess we'll see. Hop on up there, let's go. All right, let's get going. We got quite a ride ahead of us. Lead the way. So, what's this lake we're heading for? It's called O'Cray's Run, up in the mountains east of Cumberland Falls. I just hope I can remember how to get there. Back into the mountains? I sure didn't figure on that. But this time, we're doing the chasing. So how are things with you and John? Fine. Ain't it about time you let it go now? It was a year, Jose. He ditched us for a goddamn year. I've spoken to him many times. He knows he did wrong. He just wants to put it behind him. I'm sure he does. Running off on that kid is one thing, but there's code. He knows that. He ain't Trelawney. Dutch and you pretty much raised I know. But it's done. Has been for a while now. Okay, I think we need to head right up here. Yes, I remember this place. Moonstone Pond. We're going the right way. Send him out scouting, and he ends up in the jailhouse. Just lucky Lenny was with him. First time out of hiding his wanted man, and he gets tangled up with the law. What are you waiting for? Is it being stubborn? To be fair, Arthur, trouble has a habit of finding you, too. Yeah, but we run with our code, always have. That don't mean nothing to him. Perhaps, but nothing's how it was right now. Maybe we should catch one to cook. Sure. I'll try and shoot one. You don't want to use anything too powerful on a small animal like that. Just ruin the meat. Best thing's a bow or a 22 caliber varmint rifle. I have hunted rabbits before, you know. Yes. And obliterated them with a shotgun, if I remember right.
Good job. All right. It's getting late. Reckon we should camp here. Sure. Now then, you get a set up. Oh, I'm famished. Cook that rabbit, then. They're delicious on an open fire like this. Fine by me. You want some of this? No, I'm fine. I don't like eating this late. Okay. <laughs> After all that. All right. Well, we better get some rest. I want to be up at first light to find this monster. He better be worth all this drama. <clears throat> Morning, Arthur. Oh, you ready? Oh, give me a minute. Coffee? Sure. There you go. <sighs> so. What's your plan? Well, we'll see if we can track him, but we might need to lay bait to draw him out. Bears like fish, obviously, but they also have a sweet tooth. A lot of fellas bait, then shoot from the trees, but I prefer to hunt on the ground. More dangerous. But we'll have a much better chance of getting a good shot in. And if he bolts, we can start right off after him. Can you mix up this bait for me while I finish packing this up? Fish, berries. Tie it up in that rag when you're done. I hope you know what you're talking about. I grew up in the mountains, I... I was virtually weaned on bear meat. How okay. you getting on with that bait? I think I got this done. Good. Pack up and we'll get going. What's the hold up here? Okay, let's go. Yeah, good boy. We'll try our luck down by the water. That's where I saw him last. Okay. How's that horse treating you? So far, so good. You know, I was in this area with Bessie years ago. Really? I didn't know that. I imagine you still miss her. Every day. Did you two ever think about getting out of the lot? Uh, we did briefly. You don't remember? Guess you were still young. Didn't last long. I drifted back into it. She understood. She knew what I was. I remember you not being around for a while, but well, things were looser back then. Truth is, there's never really any getting out. And staying in, it's hard. You know that. But Bessie and I made it work. Why? You thinking about getting out? Me? No, of course not. Listen, if Dutch's grand plans work, and we can make enough money to go someplace new, really new, maybe we can all have a new start. Anyway, for now, let's try and chase ourselves a bear, shall we? Let's look by the water here, see if he's been fishing again recently. Look for tracks, dung, bones, 
Any sign of him? Some paw marks here, Jose. They sure look big enough. Good. Let's hope it's him. Can you tell which way he went? Tracks. Go into those trees. Wait a minute. There's something on the ground here. Half-eaten fish here. Must have been left by our friend, I reckon. Come on, see if... Anything else? Something else on the ground, just here. There's shit here. Watch your step. Looks real fresh. Reckon he's gotta be close. Let's keep going. Damn it. Looks like the trail ends here. We lost him? For now. A little optimism, Arthur. Well, what do you think? I think we split up in each look. Either that or we could place bait here. That could work. Which do you think? Let's bait here. Fine by me. Let's leave the bag over there. By those boulders up ahead, looks like a good spot for it. Thousand pounds, you say? More or less. Big scar down his face. Hey, did that bait look okay to you? I think so. You're the expert. Ready with your gun there? I'm good. You okay? You seem nervous. So do you. I'm fine. Let's just take a look at that bait. Sure. We only just said it, Jose. I know, but we need to do this right. Give me a hand here. Got your knife? Shit. Easy. Now it's too close. You're fine, old man. Of course I'm fine. It's, it's nothing. Ugh. Nothing at all. <laughs> Thank you. I think. <laughs> that was fun. <sighs> you know what, Arthur Morgan? I'm a little old and beaten up to be after the biggest game. You can have this. What is it? It's a map. 
A man in a bar gave it to me. Well, I stole it from him, but that's another story. <laughs> he said it, it told him where to find some real big animals. Thank you. It's a pleasure. You saved my life, Arthur. <laughs> I think I'm going back to camp to lick my wounds. <laughs> you coming, or you gonna track that monster? Well, you coming or not? I'm coming with you. <laughs> Let's get going, then. Let's see if Dutch gives us any crap about disappearing like that. I don't need another. We gotta be out there making money speech. We were just out scoping a lead. He doesn't need to know the big furry one. Well, thanks, Arthur. I probably owe you one. Don't worry about it. I need to head out to Emerald Ranch soon, look into something. See you later. Okay, Abigail. Settling in. Good. Hey, so that feller who was hassling you in Valentine. I'll tell you another time, okay? Okay, sure. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Morning. You did good in town, finding out about that train. You okay? You don't seem yourself. Yes, I'm all Starting right. Starting to look like Why? home. It's taking shape. Good work, Miss Grimshaw. When are we hunting another bear? Uh, Herr Morgan! Herr Morgan! Mr. Strauss. You busy, my friend? Why? I'll cut you in. Loaning. Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Robel, the small holder at Painted Sky, runs the operations there. Badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. Ah, I'll make sure they see it in them terms. Put the debts in the deed box and try not to kill them. It's very bad for business. I just miss him so much. Of course you do. Goes without saying. Uh, what am I gonna do? You're gonna suffer. <laughs> and life's gonna go on. That's the truth of it. I, I won't lie to you. Oh, it's Robert. I know. Where, where am I gonna go? Stay here with us. Oh, they ain't so bad. It's nasty out there on your own. I know. You'll be safe here. <laughs> At least for now. Until you're back on your feet properly. Thank you. Of course.
Good morning, Mr. Morgan. One night when I was frisky, from two Found some cash in that O'Driscoll cabin, whiskey. but not much else. Like a shotgun. And no coal? Not for now. No. I began to tumble and roar. My face is red like a lobster. I fell and broke my poor lobster. My watch from my fob was Pixar. I'll never get drunk anymore. Yeah. Hey, there's more. Uh, I resolved to try it. I'll live on a moderate diet. I'll not drink, but I'll deny it. And I'll shut the alehouse door. For that is where they tell us to meet all the jolly good fellas. To cry by the poker and tell us. Hello, Jose. No. Boy. Mr.
Mestre, 